what's poppin'? My name is Terrence Pop, and what's this in front of the microphone? Oh no, it's a pop filter. Oh no. Uh... Okay, filtered out like, uh, Mar like Marty and Back to the Future. At least he had two other, two older siblings to be a buffer for him. If something like that were to happen to me, I'd be doomed. I'm Pixel Cheesecake. And I'm Sean. The adequate gamer, element gamer, that one guy you know. Yep. Whatever other alias he wants to use. We're going to play an itch.io game that he picked out. Yep. A game called Mr. Twigs, which I've been calling Mr. Sticks. A twig and a stick are the same thing unless you're building a fire, so... Yeah. Let's have an argument about that in the comments, because comments seem to be the only thing that YouTube understands is making things popular. Yeah. No. Apparently, uh, there was like... It was like... Sweden had some, like, live stream, and it was a, a fire. And people were arguing in the chat, like, No, you gotta do it this way. <laughs> okay. Dead. No, you gotta do it the other way. What do you people want? The, the answer is people don't know what they want. Yes. But, uh... Oh, we're in a <laughs> grain field. Yep. Seems just about it. Greenfield, far, far, as far as the eye can see. Apparently, have to activate three altars. Ooh, scary. Yep. That's a second. I know a word that sounds like altar that I can activate. Boop. Activated. Delayed reaction. Oh, look, fence. Uh, uh, uh. What kind of little bunny hop is this guy got? <laughs> Not a very. Being set and being stalked by this. <laughs> That's supposed to be Mr. Twig. I guess. Hmm. Huh. Finally, uh. Oh. Finally, a villain that chases you th down that's thinner than Slender Man. Oh. oh. We have to activate the three altars before he catches us. I guess. No, let's... Waka Waka to start the game. Yeah. Uh. Uh, uh. Is that an altar? It's a something. Looks like a headstone. Got any words on you? Nope, not yeah, from the looks of it. Nope. Hi, I'm Mr. Twig. I can transcend the plot, and I'm coming for ya. <laughs> so, you just move backwards and he won't be able to move. I guess. Oh, oh. there he is. It seems to just do as he pleases. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Twigs, but I seem to be penned in due to my pathetic little bunny hop. Hmm. There he is. Hide him by the hay bale. Yeah, he is thinner than Slenderman. Yep.
Where is he now? Oh, there you are. Ah, I was stuck there for a moment. Oh. I have stamina? That's one. <laughs> well, we do work R E T A I L. I wasn't paying attention long enough to spell the word out in my brain. Comment the word I spelled if you understand what I said. And why don't you tell us your nightmares from your workplace? The more ridiculous, the better. You know what I think would be... Are you an otter? You seem like a stick. Could you just leave us alone, man? We're just trying to find some altars. I'd rather you just kind of piss off, dude. Maybe an altar can be a hay bale. You know. What I think the hmm? yeah, there he is. Yeah, I, I had a, an idea of what a a nightmare for working where we do. Okay. Imagine that you're in the dairy section and you're pulling a very heavy pallet with a terrible jack. So you just, you know, inching along at like slow pace. And at the end, there's a customer who's just blithely looking at one of the, at something. Ooh, that's neat. So, you activated one? I guess. That was easy. <laughs> He's behind me. Oh, oh, there he is. Anyway, so you're walking down the aisle. Oh. So you're walking down the aisle. You know, going that terribly slow pace. Exert, uh, you know, extruding um, a massive amount of exertion, and then you get up to the customer, and they just kind of look at you like, what? Like a Skyrim NPC. Yeah. So you just like, you're just moving along that aisle, it feels like. An infinitely long aisle going on for forever. Yep. And then just a nuisance of customer. Uh, I can do you one better. Okay. You remember that old Matt shift manager we had? Uh, some weird Indian spelling of some weird Indian name. Yeah. Claim to be pregnant every single time you expected her to do anything or help in any substantial way. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't. I'm pregnant. She wasn't even showing. Literally was caught being not pregnant. Like, the last place you go to is a bar if you're pregnant. Uh, a gr a grill with a bar. I maybe I could. Where is he? There he is. I understand, but 
like if the bar is closed for a private party for a baby shower or something. But you get, but if you take your maternity leave two months early and state you're not coming back to work and you just move off to a different state, kind of suspicious. Like, more suspicious than Joe Biden, the bills Joe Biden wrote when he was a young and upcoming politician and he still became president. Like, he ruined a lot of communities. Oh. Uh, I was thinking of the, uh, the scene from the, uh, the movie musical version of, uh, Hairspray. <laughs> yeah. Where the, uh, moms are drinking in the bar. There goes the crackhead that I see each morning. I wonder if he's feeling well. No, seriously. That opening song from Hairspray yeah. is hilarious for that, I think. So here, the, uh, the fact that the flasher was played by uh, John Waters. <laughs> Who's not jealous of, at that point, though? We just activated one. Was that the same one? I don't know. So, we can run. How do we run? Perhaps we... Shipped? Yeah. That was rhetorical, but I'm glad I... I'm glad I took the common sense literacy course of game design yeah. on Coursera.com where you can learn all the, a lot of college level courses for free. Once again, that's Coursera.com. Not sponsored. Exactly. Yeah. The only thing we're sponsored by, with pay, is the Amazing Artist Directory. A directory of amazing artists you can commission who have, who not only have trouble... Oh, you're in a bear trap, the fuck? Hmm. Oh. Now I'm out of it. You just gotta jump out of it. What are your legs made of where a bear trap only takes hold you for like 10 seconds? What Butter. if it's a bear trap that only works for 10 seconds? You're thinking a lot more adorably than I was. Yeah. Like, if your leg can only stand 10 seconds in that trap before you, it breaks the fuck off. Yeah. Like that proto animantium bear trap that Deadpool got stuck in. Oh, so there is like a finite area. Are are there altars in one of each of the sections? Oh. I think there's one. Mm -hmm. Good spotting. You know, eventually I have a feeling it's going to tell us that we have a map. Where are you? Oh, there you are. To be honest, Mr. Twigs, you're not particularly scary or frightening. 
uh, eliciting much of an emotional ex response. Uh, and your game's kinda... It, crap. It's an HIO game. You're doing your best with what resources you had. Oh yeah. Oh. Which, which I think is 90% free assets. He's right by the other altar, I think. Mm -hmm. You're right. We'll just kind of... No, you don't. You have the movement speed and debating of 2B. I think that's our second. Or our first. Oh, we have to raise all the stones? Yes. I don't know. Uh, just... Yep, yep. Yep. Unless he's deactivating him. Now that would just be annoying. I mean, Slenderman had eight pages. So. Yeah. And... Yep. If it's the same... Why did he teleport into our line of sight? That makes no sense. I don't know. Maybe he can only teleport a set amount. So he's scary as Mama Tattletail. Fantastic. A brand new baby Tattletail that babbles with a veil. Where'd he go now? Looks like he got us this time. Yeah. Come on, but not forever. I have the athletic. Let I'll have you know I have the athleticism of a horror protagonist. Uh, I guess it's better than having the at the athleticism of a modern suitor character. You, you'd be lucky if you get uh, more than 30 seconds to squint out of those guys. Yep. Does it make you pause while you're... No, but... If you want to get all your stamina back... You have to stop. Quintessential summer... Time RPG Staminadium... Item 1. Staminadium Max. Just... Or... Volt Extreme. Give that to your ten year old, just boom. Trying buttons. Yep. I didn't think to put a map. So. What do you think happens if uh, we actually get all these altars? Uh, Mr. Twig gets flies up into the air, gets destroyed, and turns this mist into daytime. Mm -hmm. Or you wake up in a bed. Maybe, yeah, maybe, uh, Mr. Twigs will be exercised. Yep. So, wow. 
Huh? I made a joke about uh something. I took the words from the Yokai Watch anime, replaced Yokai with Opai. Yeah. There's a fan game called Opai Watch. It's very Anahara. Uh, hold on. I didn't say that right. It's very Anahara. Uh, and a lot of people are considering it Sugoi. One bill passed uh -huh. through policy makers and it would be pushed through immediately no despite do <laughs> no matter what you do uh -huh. which one would you what would you pass I think I know what I would pass I think what my bill I be if I were to get a bill pass, I'd have want to balance novelty and actual functionality. Like, oh, come on, man! <laughs> come on, man! <laughs> you freaking finally get an altar, and it's just like pounding me. Uh, uh, maybe something like, uh, you know, you, you get 999,999,900 dollars, and it just rolls over to zero, and it's like, oh, okay, now you got like, redistribute your wealth. Maybe to like your employees or to the That would be fun, but or, I'm sure every billionaire and company would fight you on that. I think the only one who wouldn't would be Heritages because you work at Heritages for 20 years, you get your own Heritages basically. <laughs> Where is that bastard? Huh? Ah, oh, there he is. So, I would say update the schooling system. Uh -huh. Like, math would be how to do taxes. Literacy would be under understanding what other people write and writing things so people understand. Mm -hmm. Common sense class for that you can opt out of if you take a test. True or false, should you shower daily? Yes. Uh, questions like that, in which case you get a study hall. I graduated out of common sense class the first day. Uh, I, uh, seeing as you're a big fan of common sense, I found something that you might be interested in. Yep. So, there's something called the, uh, the Forward Party? Yep. Have you heard of them? I heard about... I've heard they exist, but I have no idea what their platform is. Yeah, that's the interesting thing. So their... Their stance is... Is that they're not left or right. They're forward. 
So you may ask yourself, where do they stand on, you know, policies? And the question, and that's a good question. You see, they think that they should use, that we should use the most common sense uh, approach to, uh, when, to, for the issues. Yeah. So... But when it comes to actual stances, they uh, haven't actually said anything. So they're really more of a bunch of fence-sitting cowards. That checks out. Because, yeah. I mean, sure, saying common sense. It's like, you know, sounds nice, but like, I ah, mean, but like, who's, uh, I mean, a lot of people believe in a lot of things. I mean, who's to say that what I feel is common sense is somewhat the agreed on by everybody? You know what? That's fair. That tracks. Maybe I should start my own party. Hmm. It goes with my political beliefs. There is a party in Europe uh -huh. that's just based off the elements of harmony. It's called the something something brony party. Hmm. <laughs> I, so, wait, I they... talked to one. Basically, there is someone who talks about the history of the country and how we need to embody the harm some harmonious elements or something. Ah. So like drugs? Like honesty, loyalty, <coughs> kindness, <Gosh>. all <coughs> twice. Friendship and all that. Basically, bearded near her behind all that shit. Jack to film. Yep. You wanna hear my, uh. my, uh, political sure. stance? Okay, here's my stance. Oh no! My stance is that. the. Stances that need the least explanation are the best. Facts. So, I uh, use my my stance on abortion. That a woman should have full autonomy, autonomy, anonymity, autonomy, autonomy, autonomy. Yes. It's like two in the morning. But you know, the perfect time to play a horror game. Yeah, this game is so scary. Anyway, a woman should have full autonomy over her own body. Especially if she can cover her own bills. Like, she wants to buy a house, she can buy a house. She wants to take out a loan, she can get a loan. So. And. Really? You're not even on top of it. Yeah. 
thing. So, so my uh, my my party had power. It would be that everybody like that when you're trying to have something passed, you should have to come up with a good reason for it. And, and not just tack other things on. Yeah. Not just tack something onto something you want past for selfish reasons. Like, oh hey, let's give tax hikes to gas. Why? Oh, we're just going... No. Oh, we're gonna tack on this healthy foods in school thing. What? You don't care about the children? We do, but we don't like everything about the bill, so shove it. Just Okay. You come up with a good reason why poor children should starve. Because that's just the... Because that's not the issue in its entirety. That's the... What else you've written in the bill it will cause more of that than what you're trying to solve with what you tacked on to the original bill. It's a, it's a symptom, not the issue. We have to tackle the issue. Tackling the symptoms is just market gardening or cherry picking or whatever term floats your goat. Yeah. You want to have a crack at this or should we just move on to our next game? Uh, we can move on to, to, uh, to the next game. We maybe got like one altar in, so... Maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we never got to altar two. I think we... I think there are like three separate fields that all connect in weird ways. Yeah. But... I, I honestly just don't care anymore. It's a wonderful itch.io game. Feel free to check it out. It's called Mr. Twig. If I think about it, I'll have it linked in the descriptions. Yeah. Or as the pinned comment or something. Oh, well, it's good enough to be free. Remember we did Amanda the Adventure before Matt Pat made a video about it? Yeah. I think the new build's up. Wanna check that out? Yeah. Wonderful segue. Especially during Mischief Night, right before Halloween. <laughs> Lightning sound. Lightning sound. Ah, the tank's empty. Uh, I was thinking, I, I thought you were going to say, like, oh, I'm going to do a theory on this game. It's just like, it's an empty, it's a, a gray field of gray. Which I guess could be Elysium. Or Brulo or Brulovia. For any of you D and D players. The Baroness the Baron of Brulovia is Strahd. Wait, I got something in the tank. Strahd Ivan Slarovich. What you want, you holders? Why don't you give your balls a tug and and go on about your day? You shorty, you you holders. Okay, well, I'm spouting nonsense of half remembered movie quotes. So let's move on to the next game. Yep. Before uh, Matt Pat says this is about some dead guy or whatever. Deep lore. He's been Shall the Element Gamer. And I'm trying to figure out how to get my. Uh, 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 mouse over to the recording button. Wait.
There we go. Uh, I've been Pixel Cheesecake, and you've been watching another episode of Gaming with Shala. Rama Lama Ding Dong. <laughs> I tried something. I don't think it worked. We go together like my love. Ding 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 dong. Oh my god. I think we're calling it now. Bye bye. Bye bye now.